Stand up, mister. You're on my land. Get off. I said stand up. You know, I was figuring I'd just sitting here in my own parlor and resting a spell, so why don't you take your little boys in blue and go along? Why don't you give me that right? Help yourself. Where'd you get this? Mm -hmm. I said, where'd you get it? Captain, that is none of your damn Yankee business. What kind of a rebel butcher are you? Well, now, you blue bellies got a law against killing Apaches? Get up on your feet. Hmm. Look, it's a long ride to Fort Davis. Get your saddle. And you can walk or ride. It's your choice. Either way, you're going with me. Out of uniform? Yes, sir. 
And how do you intend to find the guns? A bayonet, gunpowder, a whole wagon load. And once we get down there, if we can't bring those guns back, then we destroy them. And how do I explain to Washington that the officer who lost those guns is now roaming around Mexico trying to hand over a wagon load of gunpowder? Forget it. Yes, sir. Hey, listen, I told you, you take that, huh? Yeah, you eat it. It's good much for you. <laughs> oh, I have interrupted your sleep. I am very sorry. Hey, permit me to apologize by offering you a drink, eh? Sutler's whiskey, eh? And I just traded the watch of my father for it. You were cheated. Eh, perhaps not. They say it is a lucky child that knows its own father. Eh, permit me. I am Juan Luis Rodriguez. You sure? <laughs> Last time it was Martinez. I sit there. But this is impossible. It is you, amigo. Alive and the same? You think I'm a ghost? Uh, from what one hears now among certain Indians, one could think Lassie Dad is an evil spirit. Uh, you trading with the Apaches now? Uh, uh, when a man buys and sells, he cannot always choose his customers. Hey, amigo, when I was Martinez, you remember? Huh? Mm, <laughs> three card money and a cold deck. Well, how a man gets his money does not matter. It is how he spends it, amigo. Martinez was a king, you remember? The French girl, eh? Remember? Cherie, je t'attends, comme tu es père. You know she was of the noble blood, that one. Had I married with her, amigo. That one little mistake, that's all. Some little mistake. You shot Maximilian's military attaché. Well, I see, but they were his pistols. The duel was fair, amigo. When a man shoots the way you do, that's murder. Now, what is going on, Dad? Oh. Well, compadre, what we talked about, that is all in the past. Two old friends like us, we meet in such a place as this, huh? You in bad trouble, amigo? No, nothing. Huh. The same with me. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, who's all that for? What, that? For me. Well, now, I didn't know they could hang you for trading with Apaches. Oh, no, no, they say it is for fighting. And that is unjust. This soldier had a gun. I had only a knife, that's all. And the soldier had a wife. Ah, amigo, such a wife. Yeah. Uh, but I have always been unlucky. Locked up here, I cannot even console the poor widow. What a shame. Yeah.
I've been one long enough. Hey, you blue donkey. Huh? I want to see the colonel. Adios, amigo. Did 
there's no water here for at least a full day's ride. You know it, and I know it. I see. The wagon carries something of great value that must be in Mexico pronto, eh? Friend, the only other thing you have to know is the farther we get from that fort, the farther you are from our road. See? And for that, I am in your debt, compadre. Forever. See, forever. Gracias. Let's see, tell me, amigo, I need your help. Tell me something. To you, how old do you think I look? Hmm? What? How old do you think I look? What well, difference it make? But to me, it is very important. How old? Well, how old do you think? Oh, lately, I think I look about just... Uh, hmm. 25? You agree? Yes, again. Dirty? More? Ay, carajo. Uh, but you do not take into consideration. I have had no sleep for two days. That shows on a man. Yes, sir. It sure does. Oh, Dios. Uh... Con permiso, eh? What are we going to eat? Put it on. Hmm? The match, put it on. Si, sí, si, sí. perdone, Capitan. Eh? Ah, bueno. Mm. I'm very hungry. Can I help you? Smells so delicious. That's enough. Vámonos. Say, Captain, that's it. Sure. 
Um, how long and far you come? All the way out from Rosewell. Where the hell now? Where did they come from? Poof. Just like that. <laughs> it's a big surprise, you know? Hey, 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 uh, hey, you want some more? Dos mas, more poof. Mira. <laughs> Friend of yours? He's number six. Uh -huh. well, let's take a look and see how many more friends you got around. You first. <laughs> sitting up here taking pot shots at a wagon load of gunpowder. And why didn't you shoot this man when you had a chance? If I saw a number six up here, so did you. Drop it! He's got on parts of the same uniform you have. And that's a second stolen repeater we've come across. And it came from the same place, Pardee, who is now going to be hard as hell to find because you were so trigger-happy down there. I told you not to move until I did. Sure, I saw him up here. I was looking for a deal. He's one of Pardee's men, and he could have taken us to him. You! <laughs> Yeah. Now, what I want to know from her is how come they found out? How come they were waiting for us? Huh? Come on! I don't think this one will talk. No? Give me a knife. What knife? I have no knife. 
I go sedate and fight below. Look in your shirt. My shirt? Ah, see, see, see. I forgot. I'm sorry, amigo. Now you tell her that I will split her nose so everyone can see how she dirtied herself with a white man. Fiji, Hansi. Don't I? Ni vici bilatka deškish. A eta enta šeš. Tito, otina e. Au shum dust. What she say? It does not matter since we will all die very soon. In three sons' time, all the clans of the Apache will gather to be given a great new medicine. She must mean a trade. You ask her where it's going to take place. Who cares? What's it got to do with me? Everything. Now, the Apaches have been raiding further south than ever before. And they're not interested in picking up any livestock. What they're looking for is gold and jewels. It's going to be a trade, all right. And if we know when and where, we can be there to stop it. So you can be there. All I gotta do is find Par D. Maybe you can't, or won't. Well, now you're just gonna have to wait and see. Let's go. Well, what about Hunt? <laughs> Shoot it. Or better yet, save the bullet. Well, nobody's touching that girl. She's going with us. Like hell she is. You're not giving any orders. While you're looking for Part D, she just might remember where that trade's gonna take place. No, what harm can she do this little indeed, eh? <laughs> you tell her that she's coming along with us. See, si, mi capitan, si. Eh, ben muchachita, ben, eh? Hey, Captain, two of them, Indy. Rodriguez. Yeah. Apache. Yeah, Membrano clan. And that one, too. Yeah. Rodriguez. Did you read that? sets out on what may be his last ride. He should go with people he trusts, huh? <laughs> I pick a gun for myself and Lassie Terna, huh? No gun for you. You mount him. <laughs> well, the reasons for staying with this detail are getting less and less. Well, you just try leaving it. Oh, Captain, you wouldn't shoot an unarmed man. You try me. Build a 
top of the wagon before we get to the middle. I know. Well, the major and I told you so, huh? See? And the water is lowest here for a hundred miles. <laughs> we'll move on to Presidio. Oh, but Capitan, you cannot take the wagon across, can you? How? Hmm? <laughs> There's a ferry in Presidio, isn't there? Yes, sir, Captain. <laughs> Comes at 
there's no surprise at all. Are you accusing me of having a clue or nothing like that? We have whiskey and three glasses, please. Ain't got no more whiskey. Ain't got no beer either. Franklin? Everybody relax. Rodriguez, no wagon. That's right. Him has been and gone. He got the wagon across and he left a clear track. Thank you. 
Cecil Los Santos. It is you, amigo. I am glad to see you. Drop it. A deed? See. And I uh, thank you for taking that shot at me. But I did not know it was you, amigo. They were your. In the mud? In the mud. I do not understand. Ah, Capitan. You're a long way from Split Mountain. Where's the girl? Gone. Gone. We're gone where? Well, she tried to give me to the Apache, that one. See, see, it is the truth. We crossed and were waiting by Split Mountain. There was the sound of horses. I knew it was too soon to be you. Then I heard the Apache talk. She called out to them. I put her head in the water. Did you drown her? That is my sincerest hope, amigo. How many were they? You will forgive me. I did not wait to count them. You know, amigo, I think the captain there was a little worried that you took this wagon for yourself. Huh? Oh, Capitan. <laughs> and you, compadre, what did you think, eh? I wondered. All right, let's get this wagon moving. Can I get out of the mud? Yeah, I get out of the mud. Let's see. <laughs> She waited for us to come with the wagon and we came. She has the bait, this one.
Madre de Dios. Any orders, Captain? You were right. About her? Or everything? About sundown, they'll be picking us off one at a time, and we'll be sitting here waiting for orders. <laughs> Captain, you must have studied a situation like this at West Point. I bet you were the first man in your class. That's right. <laughs> mm. We got nothing to worry about. You'll live to a hundred and die in the bed of some muchacha. <laughs> <laughs> that is not very funny, my friend. <laughs> There's only one thing that worries me, Captain. That detail that was guarding those guns that were stolen. Now, who was in command of that detail? Was it you? I didn't hear what you said. Yeah, it was me. <laughs> what a shame to die out here in a place like this and blight a great career. You are stupid enough to become a general. But don't you worry about it. You just lived long enough to see it.
captain thought it'd be better until you came back to yourself again. Ah! Who hit me? You were clean out of your head. All right. No more problems. Captain? The stay is tied. Well, Captain, I got a bottle in my saddlebag. Do you mind? Give me this bottle. Amigo, how do you feel, eh? Some time, I'll feel better. Oh, I cannot break the rules. You heard the Capitan. Maybe I can help you hold the bottle, eh? Ah. Rodriguez, come here. See? Si. Hey, you saved me something. Huh? I don't know what this mom wants in this rain. Santa Maria. Huh? Ask if there's anything more we can do for the baby. Awe. Adesco. Si. Awe. Adesco. Well, do you think she knows it? She knows. Are we? Thanks, Jack. Chant, it is for their own dead. I think she will let you have the baby now. Maybe she'll tell us now. What? Ask her where the trade is going to take place. <laughs> uh, be done. Even if she knows, she would never say. Tell her that we know about the guns. The new medicine her people are to be given. Tell her. Bebe, to, shilchpe. Oizini, pato, azeni. You tell her that we have come here so that we can keep her people from getting those guns. Not because I want my people to be stronger in war than yours. We want no war. No more babies, our peoples or your peoples. She'll ever die like this one did. Ato, ishtai, bi, ane, binashi enti, ni, enti, tota ane, ako awe, ati. When we found her, she said three sons. There's still time, if the place of trade is not too far. Ask her. Ask her if she will lead us there. I didn't 
Hear us? Huh? Will you lead us then? Cheaters, too. Well, you don't look very surprised. Which way's he in? Well, which way would you guess he was heading? You brought him along. Well, now that depends on just why Rodriguez left us. He might have decided that this mission was all over and that you wouldn't be needing him anymore. You got two mules to pull this wagon and you're not going to pull it very far. It sounds like you went out too. Now, I told you I'd find Pardee. When and where will you find Pardee? I can't say. Maybe in two more days, maybe. And maybe never. If what she says is right, tomorrow's going to be too late. Those Indians are going to have those rifles. Well, why don't you just go on back to Presidio? Now, you'd just like that, wouldn't you? And give up my big chance of becoming a general? Look, Lassiter, I liked what you did back there. Maybe you did save our life. Now, I don't know what you got in mind, but if you want to get, then just get. Hmm. Now, have you got some idea that she is going to guide you? Well, I don't know. But you're going on anyway. Yep. To do what? To do what we came out here to do. Hmm. And you, you're going to go with it. Yeah. Well, I guess you're planning on becoming a general, too. Oh, that really would be something, wouldn't it? Yeah. Sergeant, I'd be obliged if you'd get me my horse. Good luck to you. Thank you, Sergeant, and good luck to you. About a half a day's ride southwest of here. It's the Rio Conchos. If Party's not operating out of Presidio, the Conchos is a good place to find him. You get to the Conchos. Follow it downstream, about three miles past the Big Bend. There's a box canyon, live oaks in it. Make good cover for this wagon. I find Pardee. I'll bring him to you. Thanks, Major. Major? And good luck to you, Captain. Good luck to you, Major.
like my father. Si, si. This is all I have to remember him by. It is very nice, no? Look, solid gold. Hmm? Hey, and, the, and this was my mother's. She was a very nice lady, my mother. See, <coughs> the chain is of gold, too. Eh? The whole thing, all of gold. Nice, eh? No, you want something to eat? No, gracias. Ah, Isabel! Si. Then lay for me, I stayed. Hey, give something nice to this hombre to eat, huh? Mi planter, senor. <laughs> now, I do not wish to sell such fine things for a plate of beans. She serve you upstairs, senor. <laughs> Anita! Tenge, Lisco, Cuaco, Pale, El Wesped, Andale. Primero, me gusta conocerlo. Es muy guapo. Take the tequila. It would be a pleasure to be your guest if I did not have to find this party. Party. Si. Seems to me I heard something of such a man. Yeah, bueno. Wait. See, I wait. No culpa? You were right. There is such a man. But on a night like this, <laughs> they're gonna take a little time to find him. Oh, it. I will wait, hombre. Upstairs, make yourself comfortable, eh? Déjalo, yo lo vi primero. ¿Cómo? Me espero a mí. Yo soy más guapa. Es flaca. Es una paja. Flaca. Paja. Maybe, 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 maybe. Hey, tell me something. You think she is too skinny this one? Go on, take the ball. What are you waiting for, amigo? Yeah, of course. No hay que pelear. Las dos sirven para Rodríguez. <laughs> That's what we're doing, isn't it? 
See? And stop it. You drive me crazy. How much you think it is worth? Fifty bottles of gunpowder, eh? About a hundred American dollars apiece. <laughs> and we will share it? Just like brothers. <laughs> we will drink to it, amigo. <laughs> Who are you? As Pardee's man, a new one. This Mexican I was sent here to see. We had a slight disagreement. I dissolved the partnership, and I speak for him now. Well, where's Pardee? Hand your weapons over to my men and follow me. You can either hand them over or have them taken. Live or dead makes no difference to me. I've seen. We 
got a brigade of light artillery dispersed through the heights. Since we're camped here permanently, we take special precautions. sir, if you still want me. Tell me, James, what made you return at this particular time? You don't even know what day tomorrow is, do you? No, sir, I'm afraid I don't. I can't say I blame you. It's not a very pleasant day to remember. April 9th. It was just two years ago tomorrow that Lee surrendered to Grant at Appomattox. With better soldiers, better men, a superior cause winning all the battles, still we did not win the war. Have you ever asked yourself why, James? Because we were insufficiently ruthless. We allowed our own code of honor to destroy us. And tomorrow, on the anniversary of that battle, I shall dispatch at least 1,000 mounted men against the enemy, and they will be ruthless. I need not supply them, organize them, instruct them, or lead them. And yet they compare with the best troops I have ever seen. The Apache. Ah, James. 
James, my boy, the plan is flawless. I give the Apache these, they give me gold and silver for them, and attack the enemy without pause or quarter in the rear of his army, in his homes, as the enemy did to us. Well, Major, do you approve of my tactics? Sir, I think I can give you something that will make your tactics more effective. You mean a wagon load of gunpowder? <laughs> There in Pardee, the gray fox. Knowing you as I do, how in the world did I ever think I could fool you? Do you really know me, Major? Come. It was picked up late yesterday by one of my patrols. Well, sir, that comes as absolutely no surprise at all. The only surprise is that it took your people so long to find us when we were trying so hard to be found. same time the guns go. What about our money? Later today when I get mine. Figuring gold at $20 an ounce, 250 ounces make $5,000. $100 a barrel. As soon as our customer arrives, we'll strike the balance and you'll be paid. Meanwhile, I think this calls for a drink. Hola, there. Guns all here as you give word. Here is gold, I promise. Fine. And this gentleman is Chief Bloodshirt. And here are the men who brought the wagon load of gunpowder. And uh, 
This is their leader, Major James Lassiter. I drink to our coming victory. You're not drinking, James. Lassiter. Lassiter. They tell me there is such a man, great killer of my people. Often I think, what kind of man is this Lassiter that hunts the Apache like the Apache hunts the white eye? <laughs> now I look, I see, same as me, same hate here. Now you say Lassiter come to help Apache. Why? Why? Gold. That gold. No, not for a wagon full of gold. I will tell why Lassiter come. To kill and then to die. Can this be true, James? Uh, yes. You know I speak truth. Here we're like brother. Same dead seed. Same alone. No wife and Hogan. No child. Only left to kill, to die. But new guns good. With new guns, Apache will kill, 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 till white eye never forget what he take from Apache. Always blood of wife and child to remind him. <laughs> Want water? Drink? It is good you are strong. 
With the next sun, I come back for you. We'll see how strong. ¿Quieres divertir? ¿Por qué no? Mira. ¡Ah, caballo! Mira cómo es el asunto de este. Ya ves, te dije que te ibas a divertir. ¿Qué importa si yo no voy a ir a No, pero órdenes son órdenes. No me vale más que te vaya. Ya parece que tú eres el que da las órdenes aquí. Sí, doy órdenes.
begin to be a general yet? Yeah. Major Johnson, if you are going to pull that trigger, you had better aim good. Real good. Or you wouldn't want to wake up the chief.